Hello my friends, my name is Tracy Bish, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Welcome to the 12 days of Christmas. This is day one, I'm super excited that you're here to um, celebrate Christmas with me with my 12 days. I really hope that you enjoy every single project and that you can create them yourself. Now if you do, please share them with me because I'd love to see what you're creating. So this little box measures um, three and a quarter by two and a quarter by one inch. It holds six of those beautiful little Cadbury um, Christmas baubles. I've got caramel milk in this one, but we're going to use the dairy milk chocolate ones um, for today's project. I don't think there's enough in there, but that's you know, <laughs> if we're fitting six in, I don't think it fit would make two boxes, so you might have to buy a few more. Aren't those gorgeous? All right, um, so we're using the sending cheer bundle. We're also bringing in all our supplies. So real red, no, sorry, cherry cobbler and mossy meadow. We've got the simply elegant twine. I've got this the gold from the silver and gold um, Reuben combo, which are an online exclusive. Our cardstock is cherry cobbler, mossy meadow, and basic white thick cardstock. And then this is this beautiful shining Christmas DSP. Now one side has that specialty foil type shiny paper. The other side is just cherry cobbler with different designs and I do show both sides. This is really, really pretty paper and a great one if you're going to create some little gifts or cards. You know, specialty paper is the way to go this year. Alright, um, so we're going to start with a piece of cherry cobbler cardstock and I'm going to cut um, mine down to 5 and 1 8 by 7 and 1 quarter. And then we're going to score on the 7th and a quarter inch side at one inch, three and one eighth of an inch, four and one eighth of an inch, and six and a quarter inches. Now just quickly, don't forget, there is a project sheet with all the dimensions, all the products that I've used. So um, if you need that, please go over and um, grab that PDF. Actually, it's, it's just a project sheet. Um, there is going to be a project sheet for every single 12 days of Christmas, so um, please go and grab those. Now, also, there are links to my online store, so if you live in Australia and you need any of the products that are in the project sheet, you can click on that and I'll take you straight to my online store. So we've folded, we've burnished, we're going to cut up on each of those um, score lines up to the one inch, and I don't think I said that. You're going to score on the five and one eighth inch side at one inch on both ends. So once you've cut your seven and a quarter inch side, you're gonna turn it to the five and one eighth inch side and cut one inch on each end. And then for these ones, the little squares, we're going to notch in both sides in the middle and then the outsides, we're just going to notch in on the side um, that's on the inside, so not at the very edge. Adding my tear and tape to each end. Now you can use um, Seal Plus, you could use liquid glue, whatever you would like as your adhesive. I find for my videos, I really like the tear and tape. It means that my fingers are not sticky, I'm not having to hold it for a few seconds each um, time. So I go with the tear and tape, but just a strong adhesive, whatever your, whatever your preference is. And then we're just going to line those edges up to create the four are going to be for the base of the box and then you're going to put the two edges for the lid of the box and the lid just goes over the base of the box. So here we are we're going to add six of these little baubles and they fit in absolutely perfect and um, then we can start creating our little tag. So I've got basic white thick cardstock we're going to stamp in cherry cobbler the um, present now the present actually has two stamps, so this base present piece, which is absolutely gorgeous, and you can just die cut this one out and then you'll end up with a white bow, which is perfect. Or we can stamp a bow as well and then I'll die cut both together. I'm also stamping the holly and the leaves. I've used mossy meadow and cherry cobbler. These are the colors that I'm using. I'm also going to bring in that wink of Stella and make that all nice and glossy and shiny with our um, holly and berries there. Because we are going to heat emboss that bow, we just want a little bit of extra shine and shimmer. So I'm going to fussy cut this out. What I'm actually doing is I'm trying to wait to see um, if I can completely dry that cherry cobbler ink before we emboss over it. If I was to go in right now, the whole thing would be covered with gold embossing powder and that's not what I want. 
Um, I do test it before stamping in um, stamping that bow down and it actually still hadn't completely dried so what I do is I just hit it with the heat gun dry it completely before stamping um, the bow as you can see I don't know how well it sees but it, the powder actually stuck to the present and to the cherry cobbler ink um, I find you know your reds actually stay quite wet for a lot longer I don't know it must be the pigment in it I'm not I'm not 100% sure but um, just hit it with the heat tool if it's not completely dry and that's a great way of checking before you ruin your picture is just place a little bit of um, embossing powder over the top of your image before stamping to see whether anything else sticks so we're using Versamark ink which is a clear sticky ink um, this is going to hold our embossing powder so the metallics have a range of it comes in a pot of three gold silver and copper uh, we're using the gold today so I love the traditional colors of you know silver or gold with your red and greens for Christmas all right so I'm just hitting it with the heat tool this is an amazing tool and if you love embossing you need a heat tool and I highly recommend this one it actually has two settings so you can emboss with vellum as well all right so here are the dies we're going to um, die cut that tag in the mossy meadow cardstock and also our um, little present there and there's no sentiment on this so um, you could add a sentiment if you wanted to I actually wanted to keep it really simple I wanted to show off that beautiful embossing uh, the gold embossing on the present and you know that the um, holly and berries just add that little extra to um, our little tag there alrighty let's keep moving I'm gonna make the tag first and then we can continue um, decorating our little box here so I'm going to pop up oh sorry I'm going to add some tear and tape to the back of my present I'm going to use the gold twine from the simply elegant twine I'm just going to get a length off and um, create some little circles behind um, the present I actually do this a couple of times because I wasn't really happy with it it wasn't large enough obviously um, that presents fairly big so you need your circles or your your um, yeah your circles to be a little bit bigger as you can see I'll turn it over yeah you can't even see them on one side so the tear and tape I can just pull it off because um, it doesn't hold it down really well until you press it in yep and I like how that turned out so you can just manipulate it into that tear and tape as well um, to make sure that you have a good coverage and then we're going to add some dimensionals to it to pop up on to our tag yeah like I said before there is 12 days of Christmas so um, I hope you'll come back and keep joining me each day if you're in need of any of the supplies you can purchase them in my online store if you live in Australia and I would really appreciate if you did I've got some great specials that um, gifts that I give out to all my customers each month and they do change each month so um, you know there's a great variety for you all um, and don't forget there is a PDF oh, sorry not a PDF a project sheet for each of these um, projects each day so come back and keep joining me each each day so we have a strip of that shining Christmas DSP it measures seven and a quarter by two and a quarter I'm just going to add tear and tape to the two ends and what you want to do is you just want to wrap it around the box not super tight because we really want to be able to get into this box without completely wrecking it so you want to be able to slide it on and off um, without having to break it open and then I've just got that gold um, little ribbon that's part of the ribbon combo on the online exclusives and there are new online exclusives available now so go and check those out if you're interested so I've just tied it around the um, shiny Christmas paper it did tend to move a little bit so I've just undone it I want it on that paper and you can also add a glue dot if you want to keep it in place but I'm happy with where it is it's, it's not really coming off now that I've got it in my spot that I want and isn't this gorgeous I really hope that you'll give this little treat box a go um, obviously if you can't get hold of those Christmas baubles you might be able to put something else in it but um, it's a great little gift box to give to a family member maybe a work colleague or you know if you like to give it um, to you know your your bank teller 
you know, whoever you come across each day that you just want to thank for Christmas. I'll be back tomorrow with another day two of our 12 days of Christmas. I hope you'll come back and join me and I'll see you all soon. Bye bye.